empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. All right, guys, welcome back. Tech Romancer here. Yes, and I wanted to show you guys my uh, PS1 collection. So these are the games. I remember back in the days uh, when Sony released the PS1 or the PSX or whatever it's called in the States. I remember in 1996, I went to the Sony store in downtown here in Chicago. And I went to purchase a, a, a Walkman because my Walkman was kind of busted. I remember I walked in there and you know I'm looking around. Next thing you know I see one of those guys right here. One of these PlayStations. And they were playing some games and and since I was always a big Sony fan because of their uh, Walkmans, their headphones. So I was kind of stoked. I was like, wow, Sony's coming out with their own console. And then back in the days, like in the 90s, I wasn't really into the Sega Genesis or Nintendo. I wasn't really into that. I don't know why. I was into the arcades and as well as the Neo Geo. But since me being an arcade lover and all that, I was like, wow, Sony's got its own console. I was thinking about getting one. And then right when I saw it, I had the money and I was still thinking about it. And then I saw this game right there. And that was Darkstalkers for the PS1, for the PlayStation. And I was like, wow, I really love this game in the arcade and owning it. So I needed to have one of those right there. So I was like, oh, okay. So I had to get one as well. So I walked out, instead of, with, instead of walking out with a Walkman, I walked out with a PlayStation and a game. So back in those days, man, it was like, man, it was awesome to have a PlayStation. I see a lot of people, they hate on the PlayStation, but PlayStation's got a history, man. If it wasn't for the PlayStation, a lot of consoles wouldn't survive. You know, especially all that, uh, you know, <laughs> The Saturn didn't do too well, so the N64 wasn't that good. So back in the early, uh, late 90s and early 2000s, the PlayStation was really dominating. And actually, that's one of the reasons why I still uh, game and stuff like that. Because, you know, me being a Neo Geo collector, I was making a hole in my back and I just came to the States. You know, I had no money for rent or anything. So I had to settle for something less and the PlayStation was like right there, right off the alley. So... And so I could get myself settled in and everything, so picked up a PlayStation and that was it. That's in the, the end of history for that. And let's begin with the collection. The first one is, yeah, Dark Stuckers. Let me make some space right here. <laughs> so I can share you guys my collection. I'm sharing. Then I got this one right here. It's an awesome game. I remember I used to spend hours with my boys playing this in the wee hours of the night. Need for speed. <laughs> It's gigantic jewel case, <laughs> and uh, this is another game that I uh, oh man, I love this game. This is the uh, second reason why I fell in love with the PlayStation because of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yes, this game is sweet, man. You could never get tired of that. If you don't got this on your PlayStation collection, man, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. And um, let's get some more games over here. We got the Castlevania Chronicles. And I got the Rich Racer 4, another cool game <laughs> for the PlayStation. And I got Soul Blade, and this is like before Soul Calibur. It was Soul Blade. <laughs> Space Invaders. Street Fighter EX2 Plus. This is a nice game right here. <laughs> Strikers 1945. An awesome shoot 'em up. Time Crisis Project Titan. Not a nice uh, shoot 'em game. <laughs> Trap Gunner. Pretty similar to Gauntlet, but with some a lot of anime features, and it's pretty fun. X Men vs. Street Fighter, another arcade awesome game. <laughs> yeah, you look at those prices, like they say 22 and all that. That was back in the days. I know those prices are going for one. Tekken 2. I'm trying to find Tekken 1 because that was another game that I used to own, and I used to spend hours playing that. Pocket Fighters. 
Nice little fighting game. Mobile Life Force. If you guys see this game, pick it up because this is. Don't go with this cover. This is crap. Because inside this game, it's Gunbird. The first Gunbird. Just don't go with that cover. It's Gunbird in there. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Another awesome fighting game from Capcom. Yes, that's when Capcom was dominating the PlayStation. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Another Capcom good. <laughs> Street Fighter EX Plus A. Another 3D fighter from Capcom. This is before uh, Street Fighter 4. That's when they were trying uh, 3D free, uh, Street Fighter. They were trying uh, Street Fighter 3D. <laughs> this is Rival Schools. Also known as Project Justice. In Japan. <laughs> kiss pinball. Yeah, kiss my, you know what, pinball. <laughs> Alright. Time Crisis. The first one. Yeah, I still own a lot of games. Man, I had over a hundred, I think two hundred. Like, if you see this rack thing right here in the background, this rack thingy right here, I used to be filled up with PlayStation 1 games. Now it's got some other PlayStation 2 stuff. Got Qbert, yep. And I saw some of the good ones and I'm regretting it. But little by little, I keep, I'm finding them, so. Resident Evil Survivor. This is a cool rare game. Project Hard Throne Owl. Yeah, I need that mouse pad or the light gun to play that bad boy. It's cool. Then I got Neko Museum 3. I know most of these cases are rough because when I moved, <laughs> most of my stuff got crushed. I dropped the box and man, I almost cried. Xena Warrior Princess. Yes, I know you guys want this because of the digital boobies. <laughs> Fighting Force, a nice little beat em up. Fighting Force. Wipeout 3. Yep. Super Puffle, Puzzle Fighters Turbo. <laughs> nice little gem style game, puzzle game. A nice cool one. Strider 2, yes. <laughs> got one and two I remember I bought this when it first came out and I sold it I just picked it up like about like four or five years again four or five years ago again <laughs> a nice little shoot em up soul divine I recommend you guys picking this up it's made by CQO shoot em up goodness she coding this is a pretty cool uh, RPG I just picked this up for like a, two bucks and it's going for a lot of money on eBay like, I don't know. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. Yes, buddy. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, the BR missions. Need for Speed, Porsche on Niche. I like this version of uh, Need for Speed. It's a lot of Porsches. Before I liked B-Dubs, I was a big Porsche fan. <laughs> now I love my B-Dubs more than the Porsche. Or vice versa, it all depends. Frogger. Yeah. Thank you, Museum 2. <clears throat> I still hold all of them. But if you look at the PlayStation 2, um, they got that anniversary, they got all those games in there. But for some reason, it's like some of those they don't have it. Great Racer, yes, Namco, goodness. <laughs> it says Gekio. It's a nice little shoot 'em up. I recommend you guys picking that shoot 'em up or picking this up, whatever you want to do. Dino Crisis, man. Two. This is a nice game. Yeah. Another Capcom goodie. <laughs> this is a cool game. My hair is called Echo Knights. This is like a part two to the PlayStation 2. It's pretty cool. You guys saw some mysteries. Some ghosts. 
Evil Zone, another ba anime based game brought to the States. It's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and then, yes, I got Fear Effect. A nice uh, action adventure game. I kind of like this game a lot. And I got Fear Effect Part 2 Retro Helix. This game, when it first came out, when I worked in. Uh, in Funko Land back in 2001. This game sold out right away due to some uh, mature uh, uh, sexual content in the game, but there was nothing. That was just a rumor. So it sold out pretty well. <laughs> this is one of my favorite games back in the days. Uh, Ghost in the Shell for the PlayStation. Yeah, kind of like this game. It's pretty cool. In the Hunt. <laughs> I know all 3200. Didn't know about this game until I sh told I showed him my the gameplay on it. <laughs> Pong. Yeah, buddy. Yes, Feta Fury. Wild ambition. <laughs> yeah. This game you could also find in a Hyper Neo Geo 64 if you own one. I don't own one, but I'm looking forward to the future owning one. So. I got Star Gladiator, episode one. <laughs> Mid Red Arcade Greatest Hits. Kind of like this game because it's got Burger Time and it's got Moon Patrol. So, Silent Hill. Kind of, I love this game. <laughs> it's eerie, scary. Clock Tower, another rare game. I'm looking for part two every time I find it. It's either messed up or too expensive. Resident Evil Director's Cuts. Yes, one of my favorite Resident Evils of all time. Bloody Roar, nice fighting game. Yeah, <laughs> Bloody Roar 2. Contra, Legacy of War. <laughs> Contra Venture, or Z, the Contra Venture, whatever you want to call it. That's for uh, first uh, first approach to 3D for uh, Contra. Uh, Darkstalkers, yeah, Darkstalkers. I love this fighting game. <laughs> Darkstalkers. I used to spend a lot of tokens and cool in arcade until so I own my own copy. <laughs> yes, Marvel vs. Capcom. This has got to be my favorite. For two, for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 3, I don't really care too much. I mean, I like them, but it's not as much as Part 1. Capcom vs. SNK Pro. Yeah, buddy. Bust a Groove, this game is considered rare. It's sort of like a dancing game. I don't know why it's considered rare. <laughs> I just picked that up like a couple months ago. If you own a PlayStation, of course you got to own Gran Turismo, buddy. Yeah, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 2. Inuyusha. Yeah, this is a cool anime based game. It's pretty cool, I like this game. <laughs> and of course, if you're on PlayStation, you also got to own Tomb Raider. Yes. <laughs> Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider The Last Rever <laughs> Revelation. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Almost there, guys. Yeah, this game right here is considered by many kind of rare. Guilty Gear. Yeah. And I think I got in here uh, the Raven Project. Oh, where did I put the Raven Project? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is uh, Air Hockey. Pretty cool game. I found this game actually. It came free in uh, one of the PlayStations that I bought recently boxed. <laughs> 
And I got my PlayStation Imports, Psychic, Psychic, uh, Psychic Force. Yeah, it's a cool fighting game. Anime, anime elements. Then I got Cyberbots, Full Metal Madness for the PlayStation Import. Puzzle Bubble 4. I told you guys I love my Puzzle Bubble. <laughs> Sonic Wing Special. Yep. This is Raiden DX. I think Raiden, yeah, the Raiden project is in here, I think. I was playing with it. Yep, I was right. That's the Raiden project. Hell yeah. <laughs> you got the Raiden DX. I forgot, yeah, I had him in there. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Almost there. Ray Crisis for the PlayStation Import. Ray Storm the PlayStation Import. <laughs> I remember about those like a nip. <laughs> Metal Slug, yeah. <laughs> then I got Power Instinct 2. Power Stick 2. And yes, this is one of the my favorite games for the for the Neo Geo. Uh, they went uh, from 2D to 3D and they did uh, an okay job. And that would be uh Samurai Showdown Warriors Rage 2 for the PlayStation Import. You can also get this on the Hyper Neo Geo 64. And I forgot to mention that this PlayStation right here is not my original. My original, I got rid of it. Uh, I felt I felt bad for it because you know I got rid of it because <laughs> it had a little history. But I got rid of it because you know I ran out of space and I used to travel a lot. And besides, I had a PS2, so it plays the regular PlayStation games. But yeah, this PlayStation right here, it's a Japanese version. And um, yeah, I kind of like the <laughs> how they have it in Japan with all that. Plugs and all that, <laughs> and that's my collection, guys. I hope you guys like it. And I know it was kind of boring and long this video, but I just wanted to show you guys my collection of the many games and stuff that I own. Leave a comment, feel free. I would also like to see your collection, see what you guys got. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and peace out. Tech Master out.